Hi friends, it's Amanda here from Fun Hands-On Learning. In this video, you're going to see a few different hands-on learning activities that we did a few months ago. I've had these on my computer and I just never put them into a video for you guys. So I'm glad to finally get this video up so you can see some of the things that we did a few months ago. Uh, the first activity is a rhyming activity, then you're going to see some math, and you're even going to see a little preschool activity that we did. I hope you enjoy! Last fast. Whoa, you were fast on that one. Can you read them? Last, fast, block, There you go. So this activity is called Rhyme Time. It's an oldie but a goodie. I think I made this activity back in 2016, so I've had it for a while. We've done it a couple of different ways, but what the basic premise is, is there's these cards and there's pictures with words on them that the kids have to read, and then there's matching cards, and they have to match the rhyming words. So we can either put the cards in a pocket chart and then they can match all the pictures or in this video you'll see we used it on the desk we just put the pic we put the matching pictures in the pocket chart and then he would take the picture out put it on the card and match it that way I decided to put some velcro dots on here to make them stick so that they wouldn't fall off but that's the basic premise so you could do it either way and he just had to read the word so honey would rhyme with bunny and so on and he had to match them up Eleven thirty. What's that say? Look, I got three. Eleven o'clock. So that's this not right. I did put it. Oh, it goes on that one. Okay, I'm sorry. Eleven thirty. Okay, that one said eleven thirty. That one says eleven o'clock. That one says eleven thirty. Good job. Just like that. It's, just, it's probably because when it you were sliding it over here, it moved on this one. Sorry. Okay. Gotcha. Mom, maybe mom. We were 640. Mom! This one is. Mm hmm. This one is. Mm hmm. That one isn't. This one is. And that one is. Okay, good. All right. This is a telling time activity from my early learners math curriculum, the unit, obviously, on telling time. Now, this is a review activity. What I like to do is every once in a while I throw some activities in there for the kids to do that they already know, but I just want to reinforce the concept. And telling time is definitely one of those concepts. So we go back and we spiral review our math a lot. So telling time, counting money, um, fractions, and all the different specific um math concepts that sometimes get overlooked, I want to go back and review. So that's what I did here. I took this activity out just as a quick review of telling time. And what he did is he would take a card, as you saw, he takes some manipulatives, you can use whatever you want to mark it, and then he would mark the, the ones that matched. You could also print these out in black and white and then just have them color the ones that match, however you want to do it. What I did is I printed out the colored version, I laminated them, and then we can use them over and over again as many times as we want with, you know, all different kids. So that's all he had to do, and it was a lot of fun and a quick review for him. Sheep, yeah, sheep. Good job. Let's do another one. This activity is a vocabulary activity. I have a bundle of preschool vocabulary activities on my website. By the way, I will leave a link to all of the activities you see here in this video in the description box below here on YouTube. So this activity comes from the vocabulary preschool bundle that I have. And I am doing this activity here with my three-year-old who has Down syndrome. So we are working on speech as well as vocabulary. This is a little book. And 
and it comes with pictures that you match up to the words and this book is a particular book on farm they all have different themes so this theme this theme is the farming theme he has to match up the different farm animals it's really cute and if you happen to have some manipulatives you can use like we did uh, those are great too so you can use the pictures that come with the book or you can use your little toys your manipulatives so here you will see we we did kind of did both we used the pictures but we also used these little um, farm animal toys that I had and he would match them up in the book and it was just a lot of fun it also gets the children at preschool age used to reading books flipping the pages and using a book appropriately so you teach them what the cover is you teach them how to turn the page. You point at the word so they realize that those words, those letters have meaning. Those letters say something. They say a word. And it's all that kind of pre-linguistic uh, activity that works in as well as the speech and the vocabulary. So that's what we did here. Four, very good. Okay, so this is the card that says five plus four. Now that you found the card, now what is the answer? What is five plus four? Say five and count four more. Six, seven, eight, nine. nine okay, nine, so nine, put the nine in your answer spot. <laughs> okay, see? Now that's what you're gonna do for this activity, okay? So you're going to find the card that displays the oh, equation, and then you're gonna put the answer in, okay? This is Touchpoint Edition Math. And I have a couple of different Touchpoint Edition math activities that I've made. This one, you have two steps. So you can use the touch points on the cards to help you add, but you can also find the matching uh, 10 frames and they not only can help you add, but they also help the student to see the actual addition problem visually. And so you're supposed to find the answer and also find the card that matches. And he had a lot of fun with this. It was, again, another review for him. He's in kindergarten and he pretty much knows his basic edition now. But uh, again, I like to spiral review and it was a good review for him. Well friends, thank you for coming along with me in this video and checking out some of the activities we've done in the last few months. I will hopefully have another video up for you next week. It's been pretty quite crazy if you have been following along with my videos because we are moving, we are closing on our new house in April. I am so excited, but there's just so much to do because we're trying to get this current house on the market and we are trying to pack things up. And with seven children and being pregnant uh, with the eighth one, you can imagine it gets pretty crazy. So I'm trying to get new content out out to you, but uh, have a little um, faith that <laughs> it's coming if it doesn't come out every week. All right, guys, thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye.